Hi guys, we're in the conservatory again and it's raining outside, so sorry about the noise. This is part two of my spinning aluminium disc video, inspired by a comment by Mike Roberts on one of my previous projects, saying that it looked very much like a mechanical speedometer. Uh, they work in a similar, similar way. There's a magnet spinning which turns an aluminium disc which is attached to a needle or an arrow that indicates the speed that the car's going at. And it has a hair spring on it. Now, I've just made one out of binding wire. Sorry, that's all out of focus, isn't it? It's not a very good spring, but it does actually give us some resistance to the movement. So if you watch the arrow, instead of the disc spinning round and round, it will just move until it's got enough resistance from the hairspring that I've got there. Let's see if I can demonstrate. So there we go. So we can get it to stay. There's no damping on this, so it's just. There we go. So that's turning against that spring. And if I take the magnet out again, it comes back to where it was, more or less. The magnet's not touching the aluminium disc, but it's the spinning magnet that's causing it to turn. So There'll be some links in the video description with some videos on mechanical uh, speedometers, just so you can see what I'm trying to demonstrate. I'm not even sure if the camera will focus on that uh, hairspring that I made there. But it's just wrapped around in a few circles, going through the eye of the needle at this end to hold it still. And then I've got a bit of blue tack over there that's holding the other end of it.